Hi, I'm Dr. Ivy B, and I'm going to be seeing you today. I see that you made an appointment for a gynecology exam. Can you please go ahead and confirm your first name and last name for me? Mad B. ASMR. Okay, and your date of birth? June 2nd, 91. Just start by getting a little bit of your medical history, okay? I'll be making um, some questions. If you feel uncomfortable at any point, please let me know. Okay. okay. Um, when was your last normal menstrual period? About a week ago. A week ago. What age did you have your first period? Twelve. Twelve. And usually, how many days do they last? About four to five days. Four to five. Have you noticed any changes to your periods? Um, a, a little bit more frequent than normal. So usually they are about 28 days. Okay. And I think for the last two months, they were every 20 days. 20 days. And that's for the last couple of periods, you yes. would say? Is there anything that happened around that time that could have changed? I did start to take a steroid medication. Okay. And that is the only new thing that I, I did. What did you... What were you getting treated for? It was for some inflammation that I had in the back of my neck. A complication from strep. Okay. So, yeah, it, it could really be the steroids. Um, they could um, cause changes on your period, so mm. we'll definitely take a look at that, but it might very likely be from that. Um, are you currently sexually active? Yes. Yeah. Number of sexual partners? One. Approximately. Okay, one. Sexual partners, men, women, both? Men. Men. Okay, do you take any birth control or do no. you? No. Okay. Um, he has a vasectomy. Vasectomy, okay, very good. Okay, have you ever used an IUD? No. Or birth control pills? No. Okay. When, were you, when was your last PAP test? Two years ago. Three years. Okay. Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are due for a PAP test today. We're going to be taking care of that. Have you ever had an abnormal result? Long time ago. Um, I would say maybe 10 years ago. And they do a repeated one and it came back normal. Okay, so it was just a, an error. Okay. Do you usually self-examine your breasts for any lumps or growth? I do that usually, especially after my period ends when I have less pain. Okay. Have you ever noticed anything out mm. of the ordinary? No, but I do have kind of lumpy breast tissue. That's that's how I. Okay. Okay. Um, just a couple more things. Have you ever had any pregnancies? Yes. How Three. many? Three. Any um, stillbirths? No. Okay. Miscarriages? No. Okay, very good. Your pregnancies were all full term pregnancies? Mm, yes. Okay, delivery was it natural or um, C section? The first one was C section, the, other, the next two were vaginal. Okay. Did you have any pregnancy complications on any of no. them? That's really good. Do 
do you take any current medications? No. Okay, and do you or someone in your close family have any history of diabetes? No. High blood pressure? My dad. Okay, on the dad side. High cholesterol? My dad. Osteoporosis? No. No. Okay, very Okay, that's all very useful information that's going to help us guide the assessment that we're going to do today. I'm going to first have you change into this robe. You can keep the opening on the front. Okay. okay. Can I come back in? Yes. You ready? Okay, very good. So, I'm going to be taking your vital signs. I'm going to be placing this on your finger. And relax that and maybe taking your temperature so this is gonna go under your tongue okay can you go ahead and hold this you can move it to the side if that's my comfortable Okay, oxygen is 99, heart rate is 80, and temperature 96.5. Okay, that's normal. Maybe placing this here on your arm. Kind of cross your legs for me. is 100 over 70. That is perfectly normal. Let's slide this out the way. Okay, I'm gonna put on my gloves and I'm gonna be palpating your lymph nodes. be walking behind you. Okay, I'm starting here on your stop mental lymph nodes, just making sure there's no inflammation here. Okay. Submandibular lymph nodes seem to be normal size. Pre-auricular and post-auricular. Seem normal as well. Okay. Go ahead and shrug your shoulders for me. Checking lymph nodes in this area. Okay, that feels normal. I 
Have you noticed any changes to your mood lately or maybe being more tired than usual? No. Okay, that's a very good sign. Okay, so I'm just checking your... I'm going to walk again in front of you. Checking here your thyroid. Okay, thyroid gland. Doesn't seem to be enlarged. Go ahead and swallow for me. Okay, very good. Trachea seems to be midline. No issues there, no inflammation. Keep listening to your heart. Go and button the first button of the rope. Is that okay? Yes. Currently S1 and S2, no S3, no S4. Rhythm seems to be normal. No extra sounds, nothing out of the ordinary. You go ahead and take a deep breath for me. Exhale. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Is any here on the back? Go ahead and take a deep breath. One more time. Okay. Good places. Right here. Take a deep breath. Okay, very good. One more. Okay, that's perfect. Long sound clear. No issues there. You will be able to um, place your arm touching. Yeah, just gonna be palpating the lymph nodes, armpits. Okay. Feels pretty normal. I'll be doing the other side. Is there any pain? No. Okay, okay I do not I do not notice any enlarged lymph nodes here either. So that is great sign. You can go ahead and relax. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the breast um, examination. I'm gonna be palpating for any lumps, any masses, anything that could be concerning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be checking for any discoloration on the skin and ruling out any issues, okay? Yes, yeah, okay. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking a look here first for symmetry shape looks normal here is symmetrical no signs of any abnormality it's just at first impression okay i'm gonna be palpating just my hands are a little bit cold expect a touch If there's any pain at any moment or you feel uncomfortable, please let me know. We'll take a break. Okay, to be able to put your hand right here. Okay, 
another one. Okay, I do not notice any lumps, any masses. Everything seems very normal. Would you go ahead and place your hand right here? Very good. I'm just going to be pumping a little bit here on the side. Normal. I'll go ahead and put mm -hmm. that back. Okay, Matt, now I'm going to go ahead and uncover your abdomen. I'm going to be doing an abdominal and pelvic exam. Okay? Okay. Just going to unbutton this. I'm going to be taking a quick look at your abdomen, looking at any scars. I see here the scar of your C-section. Looks like it healed. Yeah, it looks like it healed properly. That is great. Okay. And then I'm just looking any other scars? I notice there's a scar here that seems seems that it also healed properly. Do you know what this is? Um, it's an old mole. I had it removed. Okay. Did they such suture you when they removed it? Yes. button seems normal. Do you ever feel bloated or constipated at certain times of your menstrual cycle? No. Okay, that's very good. Sometimes that could be a sign of a hormonal imbalance. So that is great. I'll be palpating and feeling for your ovaries. I want to make sure that they're not enlarged. Okay, right ovary seems normal. Okay, right ovary seems normal. It's not swollen or enlarged. Okay, here we go. Give a look at the other one. Yeah, left over. It's normal as well. No swelling. Very good. Bladder is normal size. It's pretty full. No pain in the pelvic area. No. Okay, very good. There's no tenderness. Everything's no. normal. Okay, very good. I'm just gonna be lightly tapping on your abdomen. Just let me know if there's any pain. Just listening for. Normal, but 
percussion sounds on your abdomen, which gives us an indication of your organs. Good. So now I'm going to proceed to the vaginal exam. Okay, okay. Okay, Matt, I'm going to get started now. Um, if at any point you feel uncomfortable or you need to take a break, please let me know, okay? Okay. So I'm just going to lift the gown first. Okay, very good. So I'm taking a visual examination here. First, I'm just taking a look, making sure that there's no changes of color, any discoloration, any lesions. There's no signs of inflammation. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm gonna palpate very quickly. I just want to make sure that there are no lumps or masses. Okay. Okay. Okay, there's no inflammation here. Very symmetrical, definitely no lesions, no irritation or inflammation either, so that is very good. I am going to be taking a swab. We're going to be testing for STDs today, so it's going to be a couple of swabs. Might be a little bit uncomfortable, but it's going to be very quick. Taking one more sample here. Okay, open this up. Okay. Okay, that was it. the pap smear. This one is going to feel a little bit uncomfortable. It's going to feel cold. Okay. First I'm going to be using the speculum to open up the vaginal canal. And we're going to be taking a look at your cervix and taking a sample to make sure there's no abnormalities in the tissue. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to get started now. Just using the speculum first. I know it's a little bit uncomfortable, but just breathe. Okay, I'm gonna. Everything looks good. Cervix looks normal. No lesions there. Normal color. That's very good. And 
Now I'm just going to be taking a quick sample. Trust and then we can discuss the results, okay? Okay, now okay, that was it for today's examination. We are going to be sending the samples that we took to the lab, and they're going to be testing for both STDs and doing the pap smear as well, okay? So, as soon as I have your um, results back, we will give you a call and let you know if there's any abnormalities we'll ask you to make an appointment and come back and see me okay okay do you have any questions no no when should i come back um so you should come back in a year if there are no abnormalities in your results if there are then we'll schedule an appointment to see you as soon as possible okay okay thank you okay very good um yeah just call me if you have any questions okay okay thanks Thank you. Bye.